In this video today, I will show you one of the basics that you need to know as a video editor if you work with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And I'm talking about duplicating a timeline. So when we look now here into our timeline, we have our DaVinci open. This here is the timeline. Here in our media pool, we have a timeline, right? You probably know already about this. So why would you even duplicate your timeline in the first place? So number one, just for security for yourself. Let's say you work on a timeline that is a longer project. For weeks, you work on that one. From time to time, what you can do is you can create different revisions so for example let's say I, I did some cuts here whatever i did some cuts here there 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 so my timeline is no this progress and now i can go in here right click and say duplicate timeline and i can give it a complete new name so like right click rename or longer press then you can also do right click so i can give this a new name and now i can say for example revision B. And another reason is, so this is security for yourself, but also if you work, for example, with clients, it could be that you're working on a timeline and now you send your video over to your client and he has some complaints or some adjustments he wants that you make into the project. And now you can create a new timeline and call that one, for example, the revision from the customer and do all of the things. And you wouldn't believe how many times this can happen that then the customer sees it. Oh, actually, I like the old version better. Can you go back to the old version? It's, it's probably simple, right? And if you have never worked with duplicate timelines, then you're screwed because you just changed everything. No, if you work with duplicate timelines, you can always jump back to a different point. And that is one of the main reasons why you should use multiple timelines. Even if you just want to copy something and you don't want to, you want to test something out and you don't want to destroy the original timeline, you can duplicate that one and then work in that timeline. I hope this was helpful for you. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding ding in the bam bang gong. And of course, if you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, we made a masterclass from beginner to pro where I teach you everything that you need to know about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. See you in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.